Welcome to the FileAid MVS Online Formatted Selection Criteria Module. Here you will learn about how to specify formatted selection criteria to filter records prior to processing. We begin in the FileAid Editor and specify the appropriate record layout information. Temporary selection criteria is chosen because new criteria will be defined and may be saved if desired. On the menu displayed, we choose the Formatted option. The screen is similar to Formatted Edit Mode with the record layout appearing on the left. In fact, the same display customization options using the Show and Offset commands are available here as well. There is a new column header, RO, for the relational operator. The valid relational operator values are shown in the message area at the bottom of the display. This message display toggles with the MSG primary command. Let's have a closer look at the operators. The standard operators may be specified with the two character abbreviations shown or the corresponding symbols. The six extended operators are paired, contains and not contains, between and not between, valid and not valid. More detailed explanations and examples are given a bit later. The miscellaneous operators for bit string interrogation are not covered in this module. MX is bits are mixed, ones and zeros. NO is bits are not ones. More information is available in the full reference manual available on Frontline. Of the two special operators, FM for field masking is covered in this module and FF for field-to-field -field comparisons is covered in the Using Global Variables module. The contains and not contains operators are used to scan a string field for the presence or absence of a specified set of characters. In this example, the field is job title with a length of 30 characters. The equal operator searches for the string salesman with no trailing characters to be left justified in the field. The search returns to records. The contains operator searches for the string salesman to appear anywhere within the field. This search returns all six records. The valid and not valid operators are used to validate the contents of numeric fields. The valid test is true if a packed field contains valid packed data or if a numeric field contains valid numeric data. The not valid test is true if a packed field does not contain valid packed data or if a numeric field does not contain valid numeric data. This is based on the packed and numeric field definitions in the record layout. The relational operators between and not between are used to verify a range of values. A value between 20 and 30 is the same as the value greater than or equal to 20 and the value less than or equal to 30. A value not between 20 and 30 is the same as a value less than 20 or a value greater than 30. The between and not between operators may be used for alphanumeric data as well as numeric data. A value between G and L is the same as valid values being G, H, I, J, K, and L. A value between AAA and BBB is the same as the valid values that are shown here. We will now look at a number of formatted selection criteria examples. 
For most cases, only the criteria specification and not the results are shown. For example A, simply post the greater than operator on the order amount field line and specify the value 500. For example B, the operators and values are posted on the appropriate lines. Multiple conditions are ended. Example C requires interrogation of the first character of the credit card number, which requires using a field mask. We enter FM as the relational operator, and the field mask criteria window appears. Here we have specified Y to include the first of the 16 positions in the field, and N to exclude the remaining positions in the field. You may also specify only Y's were necessary or only N's were necessary, and any unspecified positions will be interpreted as opposites. In this case, Y in the first position would have the same effect. Once the field mask has been specified, the field is marked as such and the required conditions may be entered. Example D will require two selection sets. We enter the operators and values for the first set, then type insert or input on the command line and press enter. It is important to understand the flow here. It is not user to file aid, rather it is file aid to user. That is to say, insert is asking file aid for a fresh criteria screen to enter the next selection set. On the refreshed screen, we see the selection level inserted message to the upper right and the selection set counter is now at 2. The way this works is conditions specified for each level are ORed with conditions specified for other levels. Here we specify the two conditions for the second selection set completing this example. Example E builds on example D by adding a third selection level. Again, we see the level inserted message and the set counter is now at 3. We need to interrogate the month's digits of the shipping date, so we use a field mask. We must know the date format to mask the month's digits. Again, an equivalent mask is shown. We see that the field mask is in effect for the shipping date and enter the operator and value. When using the between operator, the colon is the value separator. Example F simply requires the not valid operator. The answer to not valid what is determined by the field type in the record layout. In this case, the validation is for packed data. Here we do show the results in vertically formatted mode. By turning hex on, we see that the last half byte is missing the C, D, or F sign as seen in the adjacent field. Example G demonstrates the easy way to specify simple OR conditions without going to multiple levels. Example H requests a simple contains search for the word ORDER in the description field. Here we see in the results that ORDER was found in multiple locations. Note that the same search would also find order with leading and or trailing characters such as the word border or the word orderly. 
There are three additional items to cover. First of all, working in formatted mode provides extra benefits when working with occurs clauses. The any, every, and all keywords are used in that area. Case sensitivity may be important from time to time. And finally, we will look at how to enter special values. Here we see a record layout with an occurs clause as it appears in the formatted selection criteria area. Note that the default value of any appears with each of the subscripted variables. The greater than 100 condition is true if any occurrence of quantity backordered is greater than 100. If necessary, the occurrence processing may be changed to every as long as no conditions have yet been specified. Now the greater than 100 condition is true if every occurrence of quantity backordered is greater than 100. The occurrence processing also may be set to all. In this case, all occurrences and subscripts are shown. We are interrogating the second occurrence of the inventory quantity backordered, and the condition is true only if that specific occurrence is greater than 100. In the example seen earlier, we were looking for open orders. The value open, as seen here, will match any case on the file. This is comparable to the text data type in unformatted mode. If case sensitivity is required, the caps off command must first be entered. Upon pressing enter, the caps mode off message appears. The entry is now case sensitive, comparable to the character data type in unformatted mode. As we see here, the order amount field is five bytes, packed, and signed. If we wanted to enter a value in other than decimal format, hex for example, we would first change the field display to hex as seen here. Now the entire hex string may be entered. The value seen here allowing for two decimal places is 700. Here we see the command to change the field back to decimal format, and that is shown here. This concludes this module. Thank you.